Okay, we're here breaking camp this morning here at Daniki, nice and early, and we're heading off up to Isarava Battlefields. It's a very historic site for Australians. And then we're heading on from after that up to Alola and then through to Eora. So, and that's supposed to be, from what I've heard, it's going to be a very big day and quite tough going. So, looking forward to it. But uh, yeah, this should be a good one. It's your first morning waking up on the track, and it's get up, get into some breakfast, get ready, pack everything up, and then you head off, and you're into this lush green environment that's just phenomenally relaxing and you're looking forward to the day and enjoying the surroundings around you. Big fish are on the move again. Huffing and puffing already. <laughs> <laughs> Slip sliding away. We were just talking about what part of the world might be more rugged than this if we've never been there. <laughs> Good challenge. Good challenge. Yeah, good challenge. Yeah. Really good uh, steep section. Uh, we've made yeah. it up to uh, Isarava Village or new the new New Isarava, sorry, village. Um, we just did a serious climb to come up here and uh, we cracked on the pace a bit, so the heart rate really jumped up. Um, it's pretty hard going. A bit of a reality check here. 303 shell found. It just makes you think what was happening to our diggers when they were here getting fired on by the Japanese. Really rams at home. Amazing stuff. Well done. That's good. That's all good. We've um, hiked from Daniki and through to New Isharava and now we're at Isharava Battlefield. This is where Isharava used to be, um, but the villagers now say that there's too many bad spirits here and they moved the village a bit further towards Kokoda. Uh, this is the site of um, probably the main battle of the Kokoda track, four day battle, uh, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then after that, we'll head up further along the track to Alola and then straight down to Eora Creek. Oh, it just makes me feel very humble. I mean, it makes me feel, I guess, insignificant when, you know, after our four or five hour trek today from, uh, through from Daniki to here, just to see what the, our troops had to uh, put up with, the terrain, the hills, the conditions, the rain, the mud. Uh, it's just amazing what um, humans can do when they have to. We'll head up the track towards Alola, go at, stop at Surgeon's Rock where Butch Bissett passed away and then head off to Alola and down to Eora Creek. Four hours of pretty hard slogging. Moving out. Leaving Nishirava was probably one of the quietest stages of the whole trip. It's a very humbling experience to realise what took place there and you get a new appreciation for what it may have been like during a running battle in such steep terrain. Struggling, struggling today, up that hill. Nice and hot. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, this is where the wounded were brought up from the Ishrava battlefield. Um, and they just used this makeshift um, stone here to do surgery. 
It's a long way up from Yisrava Battlefield, so just amazing that they carry them up here. Um, and this rock is now made famous by the unfortunate death of uh, Butch Bissett, the brother of Stan Bissett, um, who basically died in his arms here uh, on the 30th of August 1942. You remember your first handshake on a troop train going to war, training in various military camps, Wargrove, Greta, Ingleburn, Bathurst and more. Tell them I tried, he said. My words of goodbye froze on my lips. After Surgeon's Rock, the tempo tends to pick up a bit. You have a chance there to pay your respects and then move on to the track and start to enjoy the countryside again. And eventually you make your way down to Alola Village. Anybody thinking of doing this, they've got to come and do it. Yeah, the best thing I've ever done. It's awesome. Yeah, me too. Alola. Walking out of Alola, you get to look down this huge valley and you realize well, in about an hour's time we'll be at the bottom of this. That's my little reward. You get down to a log crossing, you cross it, and then you realize you have to come back up the other side. Right there they are. How do you like this climb? This part of the trip really epitomizes what Kokoda is all about. You're either going down or you're coming up and you have to watch every step that you're placing. It's a lot of mental work to look where you're going, both coming down and coming up. <laughs> That's why. Right. No, we want the rain. Oh, We're on the rain. Oh, no. We want the rain. We want the rain, we want the mud. <laughs> Hardest thing I've ever done in my life. But loving it. Loving every minute of it. Um, it was a long trek. We're now here in Peora Creek and uh, trying to set up camp before it looks like there's rains coming, so everyone's pretty busy at the moment. Yeah, not too bad, just, um, yeah, it was a bit tricky. Um, just at the end there, probably coming down the hill in the mud. Um, it was a little bit hard to, to get your footing. A few people toppled over. That was good for a laugh. Um, but yeah, overall it's been a long, hard day and I think everyone will appreciate the rest tonight.